back with more after this. In his career, John Duddy has been a hit internationally, and especially back home in Ireland where he is going to make a triumphant return home. But that's the next fight. Up in front of us, we've got Paul Wolak, New York State middleweight champion from Brooklyn. He's 14-0, nine knockouts. Came to New York via Poland. And his career now is on the fast track. Calls himself the Raging Bull. Not a passive fighter, put it that way. <laughs> well, if you're going to have that name, yes. <laughs> the name made famous by Jake LaMotta, you better be a swarming type of a fighter. And he is. He's got a cut over his eye, which you'll get a look at, something that he'll have to battle throughout this fight. And we talked to him about it. I mean, it doesn't even matter because I got cut. I've got cut before, and it never stopped me. It never, you know, it's never been a problem. So I don't think it should be a problem now. Over the years, it happens, you know. My, my career model is done, so I don't care anymore. Well, he'll have a big bullseye there for Anthony Little to go after. Will he? We will find out in this fight. It is Rolak and Little. Here's Joe Antonacci to get it underway. Boxing fans, our next bout is scheduled for six rounds of action in the junior middleweight division. Our judges overseeing this bout, Matt Ruggiero, Louis Rivera, and Alan Rubenstein, and our referee will be Wayne Kelly. Introducing first in the blue corner, he comes to us tonight from Akron, Ohio. He weighed in at 155 pounds, red trunks, Professional record, seven victories, six defeats, one knockout. Please welcome Tony Quick Little. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He comes to us originally from Krembicza, Poland. Now fighting out of Brooklyn. He weighed in at 154 pounds, red trunks with white trim. Perfect professional record, 14 victories, no defeats, nine knockouts. Please welcome Powell, the Raging Bull Wola. fight, obey my commands at all times, and protect yourself at all times. Shake hands, come out boxing at the bell. Good luck. All right, good crowd here for Wolak. His name is pronounced Paul in English, Powell internationally. So, Powell tonight? Powell. Go international? Uh, yeah. Okay, we'll go international with Powell Wolak. And he'll be trying to get inside on Anthony Little. Wolak comes off a two-round knockout in his last fight over Keith Sims. Little has lost three in a row. Wolak's got to get in there and, and do his damage now because the abrasion over the eye. You, you know, you don't want to go on too long if you can get the guy out of there quickly. Well, it's an advertisement. Yeah. You have some type of a cut against the taller guy, too. Yeah. Wolak does throw short, quick punches. You always have to be on alert. Because he'll get in there and just start opening up. Well, if you're Anthony Little, fate has given you a wild card in the form of that cut. And this is his chance to break that losing streak. They've given him a good head start. He's got to work the jab and keep his distance. Don't let Wolak swarm, because once he gets close to you, that's his strength. Uppercut by a little good body shot here by Wolak. 
So Little abandoning what would be a natural edge, his jab, and decides to slug with a guy <laughs> who will be very happy he did oh, yes. so. Yes, indeed. You need to keep that distance, work the jab, use your footwork, go in and out. But as you said, you want to slug with a slugger, okay. Meantime, just as we expect will happen during the Duddy fight, we might have a soccer game break out in the crowd. This is a real enthusiastic group here for Wolot, chanting his name and bringing that international element of boxing here into New York. See, Warlock is working the body. Hard shot. Hasn't really gone up top just yet with a good shot. But finding his range by digging the shots to the body. Good shots. Warlock working the body well. I like to see Warlock come behind the jab. And Wolak doing a nice job trying to bob and weave and get inside. And then he gets the reward for it. He slips the jab and then works the body. Good hard shots to the body to slow his man down. And Anthony Little's not really using his nickname, Quick. So Wolak gets inside for the opening round. Little does not use his edge. Second round action underway. And it's a very lively event here. Paul Powell Wolak against Anthony Little. The only thing I worry about is he's got a tender eye. Wolak comes in, I'm wondering with a clash of heads, might that just split it open, but so far so good. Wolak's just coming in, staying low, protecting his eyes, and digging those shots to the body. Even rubbing the eyes, he figures he can walk through Little, who has lost three fights in a row, and Little may have sent him the same message as Warlock is walking through. We're at an animated Beacon Theater. I'm Dave Montempo and Tony Page with you here. Little lost his last fight to James McGurk Jr., son of the former champion. Also stopped in 05 by Andre Berto, a really nice prospect. So he's He's been with guys, but he's the better the guy. Seems like he gets bring out the worst of him. But right now, Wallach is teeing off on him. He's going to work. Body shots, head shots. Little is starting to get into deep water. He Little. fights back just Little. in time. Little's trying to fight back also. But Wallach just he's got his man in the corner. Now he's just raining punches on him. Here comes phone booth warfare. They are right in front of each other. This is exactly where Wolock wants his fight. Good jab by Wolock. Good body work here. I want to see Wolock come underneath with an uppercut because he's got his man bending all over. He steps back and throws an uppercut. You might have, might do some damage. Good left hook by a Little. Wolock has three shots blocked, but he keeps going to work, and Little continues to slug with him. And so the mano a mano philosophy is what Wolak wants in this fight, and he's getting it from Little. 
Nice left hook by Warlock. You think the best way to describe Warlock is relentless? That would work. <laughs> he is all over Little, who is standing and fighting, showing a lot of bumps. Oh, nice. But this is not the fight style that was drawn up for him as he took a good, hard shot. Footwork a little looks a little, little, for, a little looks a little wobbly when he's moving. Here's Warlock trying to pour it on before the round ends. Little hanging on. And the bell will come just in time. Nice round for Warlock. Could not have drawn it up any better. Right. You okay? Coach, that's it, man. I'm tired, baby. Huh? I'm tired, man. He's going to be. He's going to retire. You done? You done? Yeah, you done. You done? That's it. 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 But you know something that, that should be the end of a career when you say, I don't have it no more. He may mean that too. Yes. yes. This is four straight losses for Anthony Little. His last win is back against Daniel Neal. Long time ago, losses to Darrell Richardson, Patrick Maxwell, James McGirt Jr. And when the losses pile up like that, and guess what? Maybe the commission should step in if he doesn't retire. Yeah. Yeah. you your winner by technical knockout from Krembicha, Poland, Powell, the Raging Bull, Wolak. So Wolak goes to 15 and 0 and will be grateful for the slugging style employed by Anthony Little because that made it much easier for him to do this. It was Volok in a walk. And back here at the Beacon Theater where Powell Wolak has had a relentless 
pursuit of victory against Anthony Little. Nice job by him. He worked the inside extremely well, and he would not be denied in this contest. And now he's going to go over to our relentless interviewer, Tony Page. Take it away, Tony. Thanks so much, Dave. You almost lost your mouthpiece. Right, right. so, so, that was just a tremendous performance. You did not let him get off at all. Well, that's, that's my style of fighting, you know? I just try to set the pace and keep it up every round, you know? Pick it up, pick it up. I'll do what, I, I'll do what the guy gives. Now, some guys in your, in your situation with that abrasion over your eye would have changed your style, but you didn't at all. Why? Because it don't affect me. If you're gonna get cut, it don't matter, you know? I'm gonna fight my fight, you know? Maybe I'm gonna be a little bit more timid, you know, protect the eye a little bit, but I'm gonna go what I gotta do, you know? You, you work the body, you work the head. How did you, and how did you keep your game with all these with people cheering your name and everybody, look at this. Love it, man, look at these guys, man. That's my Polish army right there. <laughs> That's right. So what's next for you? What, what do you work on next? Uh, oh, you mean, uh, yeah, like you, you did good work in the body. What uh, else do you work body, on? Oh, head movement, you know, taking as much as least punishment as you can. Obviously, you can see my face got some cuts and stuff, but uh, don't affect me, number one. But you know, in the future, I gotta be smarter, more defense, more head movement. You know, hey, we gotta get better. You laid the groundwork early though by going to the body. I kind of, I kind of let him up. I usually start a little bit faster, but you know, my trainer's like, listen, you know, wait, wait a minute, faster. Well, yeah, I mean, my trainer's like, listen, you know, take your time. You know, get good distance. Don't rush him. Don't run after him. Uh, I get to get, get good distance behind him, and then land your punches, hard punches to the body, and he's gonna go. And I think I started getting my rhythm second round, and I started landing some good body punches. I started hurting him. All right, can't wait to see you again. Thanks very much. Let's go to ringside and Dave Tempo. Okay, thanks, Tony. And Olays all around. 